Hi, Matthew. Welcome back to your channel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start back up on A Day with Neil Armstrong. We're going to start on Chapter 5. Chapter 5. First Flight. Is that Gemini 8 spacecraft? Yes, let's have a look inside. In 1966, Neil Armstrong flew into space. This was his first flight into space. He rode in the spacecraft Gemini 8. He was in space for 10 hours. Armstrong did many experiments in space. He faced many problems. He had to make an emergency landing in the Pacific Ocean. He learned a lot about space travel. That's Bill Gates and Fiona, and he's showing, Bill Gates is showing Fiona the capsule of the Gemini 8, looks like. It might be a replica, or might be uh, the actual spacecraft that he went up to space in. Chapter 6, Flight to the Moon. Have a safe journey, Mr. Armstrong. Thanks, Frank. In 1969, Neil Armstrong flew into space again. Now, he was the commander of the first mission to the moon. This mission was called Apollo 11. Two other astronauts also flew on the mission. They were Michael Collins and Edwin E. Aldrin Jr. They flew on the space shuttle called Columbia. Columbia took four days to reach the moon. Like there's Frank waving off to the guys, Neil Armstrong and um, Neil Armstrong and his buddies are getting ready to go to to the moon. And his buddies are Michael Collins, Edwin. E. Aldrin Jr. and the uh, they're gonna get on the Columbia spacecraft. Chapter seven, first man on the moon. Wow, we are on the moon. Frank is there with him in this book. Yet, yeah, oh, it's Fiona. Yes, Fiona, we have made history. On on July twentieth, nineteen sixty nine. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. He was the first human to step on the moon. It was a great day for everyone. Armstrong said the famous words, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I've heard that before, Matthew. I've, they use that on a lot of movies or a lot of references because we were the first man on the moon. One small step for man... One giant step, one giant leap for mankind. And that's Fiona on the moon, but she didn't really go to the moon. It's just in this book. And But that's Neil Armstrong on the moon. Look at the moon. It's up there in the sky. And we can fly to the moon. What a great book. Chapter 8, The Professor. It's big. This is this is the University of Cincinnati. I taught here. Neil Armstrong traveled around the world. He shared ex his experience about moon with about moon with millions of people. He became very famous. In 1971, Armstrong left NASA. He decided to do something new. He became a professor at the university. He taught about space and spacecrafts. Look at that university in, in Cincinnati. That's a big university. It looks like a church. Maybe, maybe it's a, a Catholic university or um, some type of university. But that's, uh, that's Frank and Neil Armstrong. Because Neil Armstrong went to uh, teach in Cincinnati. He left NASA. Became a professor at a university. 
Chapter 9, Conclusion. Thanks for the visit. Thanks for the great visit. We learned so much about your, your work and life. Thanks for coming, Frank and Fiona. I enjoyed the visit. Neil Armstrong was the first human to make to walk on the moon. How could the, the world honor him? An air and space museum is named after him. It is in Ohio, in Ohio, United States. Wow, I, did, I didn't know. Uh, in Ohio, they have this uh, museum that's na named after um, Neil Armstrong. Look at it. That's uh, Fiona and Frank saying bye to and thank you to Neil Armstrong for because uh, they got to spend the day with him. So here is the timeline. Uh, the timeline. 1930. Uh, Neil Armstrong was born in August 5th in Wapakoneta, Ohio. In 1962, Neil Armstrong becomes a test pilot. He flies many fire jets, fighter jets. 1966, Neil Armstrong goes on his first space flight abroad, aboard uh, Gemini 8. 1969, uh, Neil Armstrong becomes the first person to walk on the moon. 1971, Neil Armstrong leaves NASA. He becomes a professor at the University of Cincinnati. That's a little uh, picture of the timeline. And, uh, so the glossary. Um, and the glossary is just um, kind of like a dictionary, um, a mini dictionary that uh, they take some of the big words that they used in this book and and they tell you where you can find it on the pages, and um, they tell you the definitions. So here we go with the glossary. Astronaut, a person who's trained to take part in space flight. Florida, a state in the southern part of the United States. Gravity, the force that causes objects to have weight. Honor, a sign of special respect or ad 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 admiration. Korea, a country in Northeast Asia. Museum, a place where people can see valuable objects. Ohio, a state in North Central, in the North Central part of the United States. Pacific Ocean, the largest ocean in the world. Pilot, a person who is allowed to fly an airplane. United States. A large country in North America. University. A school you go to after you have finished high school. Yay. That's a, a, a day. A day with Neil Armstrong. We finished it. Congratulations. You did a good job, Matthew. You paid attention. So, um... I'm going to start, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do electricity. We're going to learn about electricity. So um, tune in soon.